Hello everybody, here we come again with an awesome new module. As you are already familiar, after we study the whole market, we create the most complex and featured products for you. During today's video, I would like to show you our module, the Product Designer. Now we're going to get started with the front end and then after I show you exactly how this works, we'll switch to the back end and I'll show you how easy it is to set it up on your website. So let's go ahead and open up our bicycle here for example. And this module allows you to allow your customers to design their product themselves. So you'll see right now we have this blank bicycle here, a basic white bicycle. And on the left hand side, we have a bunch of different elements that we can customize. So for example, we have our frame. And when I select my frame, I can then choose which color I would like. And as you can see, each color has its own separate price. So red, for example, we can see the price for red green I click on green and we can see on the right hand side it is automatically in real time updating my bicycle next up we do our rims we have our different color of rims I can do green again for example down to the handlebar and so forth all the way through all of these different elements allowing me to completely customize how I want my bicycle to work we also have the ability to add extra components we can choose whether to include them or not include them and once we have our bicycle designed we can add this to the cart and inside of the cart we can also see that our image is the one that we designed. If we continue shopping we can add as many customized items as we would like. For example we have our sunglasses and again we can go through here step by step and choose the different colors and so forth. And then for our accessories we have a pouch that we can include and we also have some cleaning cloth that we can include as well. Now if we switch back here to the back end and we go into our orders, we can scroll down here inside of our orders and see exactly what the customer ordered. So we have the exact description here for the customizations that the customer wanted for their bicycle. And we can even click on the photo preview to see exactly what they ordered. This allows us to be sure that we are providing exactly what the customer wanted with their customization. Now, if we head back into our catalog, I will show you how easy this is to set up. And we'll take a look at our bag for an example. So once we have our product opened up, we're going to go over here to modules. Then we're going to open up our configurator. And the first thing you'll notice is that we have our default design. And in our case, we are using a nice default white bag as the main preview design for our store. Now scrolling down here further, you'll begin to see that we now have these different categories. So starting with the base of the bag itself, we have our icon preview. And if I head over here to our store for our bag, the icon preview is the image that you see right here on the left hand side. So for the body of the bag, you can see the icon preview and that's what we uploaded here. Next, we can add all the different options that the customer has for the body. As you'll see, we have the different colors of images that we uploaded. We included the name of the color here, the color code for that color, and the price if they were to choose that color. So each color can have its own separate price. Down below that we added another option which is the handle. Again we have our icon image that can be seen right here on the left hand side and we also included our different colors, the different images for those colors, the color code and the price for that color. We also included two different trim modules here and if we jump back over here to our bag we can see exactly what these look like. These add a nice fur around the bag. Now something else I want to point out inside of the configurator is you'll notice when I add my trim, you'll see that my handle is still on the outside, which is very important. That's because inside of our configurator, we have our layout position. You'll see the body is a zero. You'll see the handle is a two and you'll see both trims are a one. This means the handle being the highest layout number, which is a two will always be on top. That's because you wouldn't want the trim to go over the handle. So depending on what type of product you are selling, that may be very important for your layout positions. If you would like to rearrange how this looks on the left hand side, maybe you want the trim model two to be above trim model one. You can simply drag and drop it down here. We have these nice little arrows. You can simply drag and drop it in any order that you would like. So thank you for watching and we hope you've understood how this module works and we've convinced you to buy it. Don't forget that you have free support from our certified PrestaShop team. If you still have any questions, 
hit the contact button and let us know how we can help you.